Hi everyone, my name is Dawn and my son Owen is here with me today in our home on Treaty 6 land, traditional territory of the Métis people. Uh, we are going to do a little bit of X and O's tic-tac-toe playing today. So we're going to start old school with doing it with paper and pencils. Do you want to pick a color, Owen, and then I'll pick one next? Do you want to pick a color? Probably most of you are familiar with this game. It's a game that you learn usually when you're younger. Okay, Owen, do you want to draw us a grid? Uh, you start by drawing uh, two lines down and two lines that cross sideways. And that's our game board. So you can play it on any paper. Uh, we played it on napkins at restaurants, paper napkins, or placemats. Oh, you need to keep it to do your, your X's and O's. So would you like to be X or O? Um, X. Okay, you start first. So Owen is going to place an X. Then I'm going to do an O. Okay, Owen. You're next. Oh, he's trying to get a sneaky line in. Oh. Oh, he foiled me. Okay, I better go here before he gets a line. We're trying to get a whole line. So as you see, I foiled Owen here and he foiled me. I think, Owen, that neither of us is going to win this game. You put your final X. So we're trying to get a whole line either of X's or O's to win the game. So that's the old school way. We'd like to show you a fun uh, little project that we're going to make today. It's an X and O game that you can use over and over again and maybe a little bit better on the environment. So we have uh, a cloth bag that I've made, a little drawstring bag that we're going to use to keep um, our game pieces in. And Owen, do you want to take a moment and do a grid on this bag for me? You can sure. pick any color marker and you can use that ruler if you'd like. Um, you could also possibly use like a granola bar box, cover it with white paper, make a grid on here. And our playing pieces are going to be rocks. We uh, have been on lots of walks lately. And so we've been collecting different rocks as we traveled around. So we're going to make these into our game pieces and we're going to store them in our bag. Or if you do use um, a little box at your house and put your game board on here, you could store your pieces right inside. So we're going to decorate our rocks and we'll be back to play a game in just a few moments. Okay, Owen and I have decorated our rocks. He used paint on his, so if you have paint around your house, you could paint a fancy design on your rocks. You can make rainbows, sunshine, stripes, polka dots. I used marker and I just made fancy X's on my rocks. Uh, so who wants to start, Owen? Your paint's a little wet, so we're just gonna be careful, but you get to start first. Ooh, center spot. Okay, your turn. Oh, I see what you're trying. Oh, do you see? He's trying to get a line again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he got one on me. Good job, Owen. I was just about to get a line too. Owen got three in a row, so he won this game. Have fun creating your own X and O's or tic-tac-toe games at home. Send us photos, share your comments with us on social media. Have a great day.